evening. Well, it's almost bedtime. We've almost made it through the second week of uh, isolation, schools being closed. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. You've done amazingly well. well done. Looking forward to chilling out and relaxing a little bit this evening. But we just wanted to say a couple of things uh, that are happening. Just wanted to let you know uh, what's going on. It would be Palm, or it is Palm Sunday on this Sunday. And normally we'd be giving you palm crosses and uh, as a symbol of remembering that triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Uh, and we just want to encourage you, along with a number of other churches around the country, let's do something a bit different. If you've got a garden uh, or if you've got a hedge nearby and you can raid it for a branch or something, then why not grab one? and stick it on your door here, uh, just as a sign of welcoming Jesus as King um, this Palm Sunday. So you could get a nice little random collection of foliage like <laughs> Whatever you've got found. in your garden or, or like in your bushes, just grab something and put it on the door. <laughs> and I think what will happen <laughs> is um, it'd be great if you do that tomorrow, send us an email, tony at holysaviour.church uh, and then I'll include it in our service on Sunday, some pictures of different people's doors and stuff just to see the way in which we're all coming together this Palm Sunday, even though we're apart. It's been um, a really great week a really great week for um, doing different things. So last night we had Adrian's quiz, which was brilliant. Thank you so much to all of you that um, connected with us. And it was so much fun, lots of laughing. Me and Tony uh, did not know many of the answers, but we had fun. We, we did have a lot of fun. Um, so we will look at doing them again. Um, not next week, because next week's Holy Week, yeah. but probably the week after. Yeah. So do look out for that, um, as it was a lot of fun. There's lots of laughing and uh, yeah, even if you don't know the answers, it's just fun just to be together. I think just the sense of all being together, seeing each other on the screen was really lovely. I think I really thought that was really nice. Felt like we were together even though we weren't together. It was great. Um, tomorrow we've got another great activity that's going to be happening. Um, at four o'clock, it's a Great Bitten Bake Off. It's Biscuit Week. So that's create a lot of, something that's a lot of biscuity. Bees. It is a lot of bees, isn't it? Great, the Great, great Bitten, bitten Bake, bake Off. off. Uh, so create week. something biscuity um, and uh, be in our Zoom room. The ID will post somewhere to remind you. Uh, then you'll come up, everyone will like, have a little taste. If on the, you'll show us your decoration because decorations count, but, but it is also, uh, we don't want a style over substance. We do want good substance. Um, so then we'll trust you to take a bite <laughs> to describe that mouthful. Describe the taste. Uh, and then we will have a guest judge yet to be arranged who will make the decision as to who is triumphant this week, uh, this, this week. week yeah. And then we'll maybe agree between us what we do the following week uh, for <laughs> our next activity. So that's tomorrow at four o'clock. Even if you don't bake and you um, just want to come and be part of the call, please do come and just be part of it, watch what's going on. I'm sure it'll be lots of madness and mayhem, but um, just another opportunity for us to be together in community in a new way, as we're all working through the new ways of connecting with each other. And on the topic of food, um, we have been given a huge delivery of different fresh food uh, that is coming up to its end of its date life and needs um, claiming. Um, it was delivered to school through Fair Share. They passed it on to us because they weren't able to get rid of it all. So we've got loads of bananas, limes, tomatoes, mustard, mustard, whole um, grain mustard, uh, mints. Um, sausages. frozen sausages, um, like an omelette mix type thing. Um, and so Barry and I will be at the parish hall in the car park tomorrow between 11 and 12. Um, if you would like to come and get some stuff and you're more than welcome to, um, if you're able to, you want to give a donation, we'll pass all that money on to uh, Southampton City Mission to support the work of the Basics Bank. Yeah. Um, but if you know someone who's vulnerable, perhaps someone who's not able to get out and they could just do with some uh, extra top up of those sorts of things, limes, I mean, challenge for you to see what you can do with them. Um, <laughs> you could use them in next week's um, bake, -off, bake Off. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there we go, that's tomorrow, Saturday, between 11 and 12, the Parish Hall car park. Do come and find some stuff if you'd like to, at a safe distance, of course. Yeah. And then um, we will be um, live oh, on actually. Facebook uh, and YouTube for um, to mo uh, Sunday mornings um, service at 10.30. We're going to have a great time. We Matt Gwynn's going to be sharing with us about um, Palm Sunday and what it's all about and we'll be having a load of fun all together. So if you're able to join us at 10.30 and just think about who could you invite to watch the live stream with us? Who do you think might enjoy it? He maybe doesn't normally connect with church but might enjoy it. And we've got a whole great programme and timetable of stuff for next week so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, we'll be launching that online 
um, loads of things happening during Holy Week to help us as we prepare for Easter. So we hope to see you at either the um, Come and Get Some Food or the Bake Off or on Sunday morning. And we look forward to seeing your photos of your doors. Oh yeah, photos of your doors. Um, but just we'll be praying that as we head into the weekend that it's full of refreshment and fun as we all work out new ways to use our time and connect with God. Take care. Thank you.